So it's another beautiful cold wet day in Vienna and uh, we want to try some proper authentic food. We've had a few things since we've been here. God, it's kicking off in it, look at this. <laughs> They're a bit awning. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. But uh, yeah, we, uh, we're going to have a little uh, try of the local food, but this is where we're staying in this area. It's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. So, just go have a little look around here first. We uh, came past here on the uh, on the old uh, tram, and it took my breath away. I was like, "Wow, what an area! Beautiful." Yeah, I mean, obviously most of Vienna is beautiful, but this really caught my eye. So we decided to come and visit here. It's called the Rathaus. A Rathaus. Rathaus. I don't know how you pronounce it, uh, but it's basically the uh, the town hall. I don't know if this is it itself or. If it's a different building but there's also like a park as well um yeah that's that's <laughs> that's some pretty impressive architecture i must admit but yeah we're here to try some authentic austrian food as well we found a restaurant it's not the cheapest but we are in the center of things all right so we're here let's have a look at this the rathaus park Rat rathaus <laughs> i can't get the r sound right in there in the German language. It's like a Rathaus, Rathaus Park. You have to correct me. Or forgive me, we don't have that sound in the UK <laughs> or England. We don't have that sound in our language. So it's fairly hard to replicate it, unfortunately. But what a beautiful scene. And up there as well. Must be amazing to live in a city like this, I tell you. I think I've lost my brother-in-law and wife. There they are. Nah, they'll find me. Caution, wet floor. <laughs> Certainly don't want to drop this. <laughs> oh, this is cool, isn't it? And should have been saying should have been. Danke. <laughs> Spent a lot of my time saying that. Got to because I don't want this uh, music to, well I say demonetize, you can't demonetize the channel with so few viewers. <laughs> but I don't want the person's music to be uh, played when, when they didn't agree to play it on my channel. So I'm trying to drown them out <laughs> as best as I can. This is interesting. It's like an almost Christmassy vibe to this place. But we're currently in uh, February, so uh, yeah, rather strange, but yeah, I'll show you what I mean. Look at that. That is <coughs> rather beautiful. It's es ist schön. Es ist sehr schön. Get a look at that snowman. Gotta go around the other way. I do apologise, I might have to mute this mu music out. There you go. Alright, so we've just seen a nice interesting little place we can go to. So, I'm going to pop in here for a bit as well. <laughs> oh, brave. He's being brave. Kein Hund. <laughs> no dogs. Wow. Look at this. Bit of a right in it. Very pretty city, very walkable city as well actually. We have taken a few trams around but generally speaking yeah it's a very it's a very pleasant city to walk around. Yeah really nice. So we found yeah as I say we found a place that does uh, a few things that I want to try so I want to try uh Spetzle Spitzler, no point trying to pronounce it because I can't. Uh, Kaiser Schmern, Schmern, Kaiser Schmern, Kaiser Schmern. Not sure how to pronounce it. Kaiser Schmern, I think it's Kaiser Schmern. Um, and 
that's pretty much it for me really uh, like I kind of had a little bucket list of things that I wanted to try on this holiday and uh, I've kind of got a few of them down but yeah Kaiser Schmack oh we're going to have a look over there another very very nice building <laughs> so daylight's dying fast on me unfortunately but uh, I'm holding on for dear life and trying to get as much footage as I can for you for you wonderful people before uh, before it inevitably gets too dark where we lose the camera quality but I might still persist if we can get some good shots but yeah would I recommend Vienna? absolutely it's a very nice city is it affordable? Mm. I've not had a terrible time with money, but we've, we've been split. We've not broke the bank though. No, we've been splitting the money three ways though. Ten, we tend to split it halfway. So uh, having Kyle with us, my brother-in-law on this trip has helped because we kind of go three ways on, uh, on most things. It means sharing three portions as well. So less damage calories wise. <laughs> but uh, yeah. I can certainly imagine living in a city like this. Very, very cultural. Very pretty. But then the, uh, the novelty effect of it probably wears off. You know, London, for instance. I go to London and I don't marvel in its beauty as much as I did when I first arrived as a tourist. <laughs> very nice. I probably better not show that statue. I'm not sure if that'd be classed as nudity. But uh, YouTube's rules are quite, uh, quite strict on that kind of stuff. But we will make our way over here to this uh, rather nice looking area and see what it's like. All right, got to be careful because just over here we got a protest. So uh, I don't really want to be uh, stepping in into protests. They always say online advice, try and avoid protests where you can. Um, so I shall follow that advice. I really follow the advice of, uh, of travel things. Uh, just kind of throw myself into random situations but this time I will do so <laughs> but look at this very nice yeah what a city man what a city what are your thoughts guys I love this bit yeah. it's all right in it yeah. daylight's breaking fast unfortunately look at that what a monument top of the buildings uh, yeah they've got angels up there you won't be able to make it out but <laughs> they do look at that what a shame the rubbish you live in such a wonderful city you should uh you should respect it <clears throat> the police are in high high police presence due to the protest <clears throat> again i'm not gonna gonna get anywhere near that stuff but here we go, Austria. What a city. So, this is the restaurant we've come to, and uh, let's have a look. I think I already know what I want, so it's gonna be fairly straightforward for me. So, what do we have? If I can find it. It is, here we go, You're ready for this? Spitzler. I'm just wondering, um, what's what's the best like beer? What would you like recommend uh, beer wise? I recommend the Wiener Lager. Wiener Lager? Yeah. Eins, bitte? Yeah. Danke. Okay. You guys, what do you want? Uh, two? See? Okay. Zwei, yeah. <laughs> Coke Zero? Yes, Coke Zero. Okay. Sehr gut, danke. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna go for. The Spitzler. Spitzler? Spatzler. <laughs> I'm not sure how to pronounce it. I'm gonna get the, oh, the that one. And I think I'm also gonna get a what are you getting? Kaiserschmann. Kaiserschmarren? I'm gonna get one of them as well. I'm gonna need a small one, a big one. So yeah. Oh, danke. So this is also it? Oh yeah, yeah, better, yeah. Um, ich möchte eins, uh, sp I can't pronounce it, Spätzle? Spätzle? Yeah, okay. Spätzle, bitte. Uh, is that Gross? Gross? It's okay, Gross, yeah. Gross, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gross, bitte. Okay. Prost! 
Soll ich später wieder kommen? Das ist lecker. Ja, gerne. Sehr gut. Do you need more time, guys? Lasagne, yeah? Uh, eins Lasagne. Lasagne is finished, sorry. Finished. Yeah, kein, kein, kein Problem, kein Problem. Ich komme ein bisschen später. Okay, danke, danke schön. Still deciding. Mm. Sounds good, doesn't it? Yeah, rum steak. That is beautiful. That is really, I'm gonna just literally have that all night. Which one is that one? That is so good. Uh, I'm going to go with the scallop. The what, sorry? Scallop. Scallop? Oh, escalop. So we've gone for the escalop. I've gone for the spätzle. Kyle's gone for... Veal. Yeah, go for the veal. Yeah, we want a Wiener schnitzel. Wiener schnitzel. Yeah. Awesome. Here we are then. So we've got the old uh, spätzle. Kyle's gone for... Uh, I've got it completely wrong. So Rostbraten is like a... What did he say? It's like a steak, wasn't it? That's like been seared. A bunch of onions over it. And Tom's it's got like the goulash. Thin, thin steak. It's like a thin steak, yeah, and he kind of bangs it into the oven, doesn't he? Didn't ask you how you wanted it though, so that's interesting. And I've got a salad with mine, so let's get stuck it's into this. Cheese, look at that. Oh, look at that. No. That. It's amazing. It's like it's like gnocchi and macaroni at the same time. And some crispy onions. Let's try these. Hmm. It's amazing. Yeah, I'll definitely recommend that. Okay, so we've got a traditional Austrian dessert called Kaiserschmarrn. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's like shredded pancakes with powdered sugar and a plum jam. So let's get stuck in, guys. Look at that crispy on the bottom, man. Mike has a 16, isn't it? Your brother. That is beautiful. Oh my god. Let's try it with a plum jam. There we go. Let's try it with a bit of the jam. Mm -hmm. That's really good. That's nice and sour, that is. A compliment to sweetness. Mm -hmm. Right, we'll get this finished and give you our thoughts of the meal. Oh, yeah, we've got another beer as well because it's really good. Okay, there we go. So that was the meal. That was really nice actually. I really enjoyed it. It came up to 101 in total, but we gave them like a, a five euro tip because we didn't really know how much to tip. We should have probably tipped more, but that's 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 how much it cost in euros, a uh, pound, sorry. If you want to quickly do that in uh, US dollars. At 114 US dollars. That was between the three of us. Uh, mine cost about £30. I, I paid the whole tip because uh, these guys didn't really opt into the tip. But I don't, I, I felt we, I should pay, you should pay a tip, you know what I mean? It's just only fair. So. Huh? Oh, shut. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to go and buy a cup of tea now. It's 8 o'clock, yeah. So, we're going we're to go and buy some stuff to make a cup of tea back at the apartment. But, um, yeah, really enjoyed it. So, the. Um, the Kaiser Schmer Schmerden, I'll talk about that first because that was the most recent thing we had. That was really nice, it was full of flavour. There were some nice little crispy bits at the bottom which made it really nice. Look at that! A sushi market. Um, it was, yeah, really tasty. Uh, the plum jam was really sour, but that complemented the sweetness of the... Uh, the sweetness of the, of the pancakes themselves quite well. And, uh, sorry, a lot of gas. The beers were really good as well. They were called uh, Wiener, Wiener beer. So I really enjoyed them. And uh, I had the Spätzle, which uh, is like cheese dumplings. And they were amazing. They were topped with crispy onions. And what a, what a meal. Like price wise, fairly standard for a European city, to be honest. We're like banging the middle of the action. So. You're gonna usually pay a bit more when you're in the centre, but we just happen to be staying in this part of the city. To be honest, we don't usually stay. Uh, we don't usually stay in the touristy bits, but we need to because uh, tomorrow we are getting a bus out of here to go to another country. Not because not because we don't like Austria, because it's fantastic, but actually because we try to uh, try to get as many countries as we can under our belt. Look at that, beautiful. 
So we're going to go and do a bit of exploration now around the uh, around the streets. You've seen enough of that, so I'm sure you don't want to say see any more of that. But uh, yeah, we really appreciate you joining us on our little uh, Austrian food excursion. We appreciate your time. We hope you have a wonderful day, and uh, thank you. See you very soon. Take care, people.